chance or destiny. In life, there's only one thing you can bet on. When one thing ends, another always begins. And if you're beginning a new school, you don't want to call attention to yourself. Marnie's secret was out. Her strange creatures had been spotted. John Roberts recognized them from a cathedral window here in our fair city. But was he part of our new beginning? Or was he part of the past? school on your second day as well. Okay, okay, I'm coming. <sighs> awake, awake. I command you. What was it? Awake, awake. For I am your master. It's time you told me the truth. The truth about the book. Uh, what, what, what book? The book you were just going to tell me about when you, like, happened to go to sleep? Uh, could you be more <laughs> I remember a big book. Leather and gold with, like, strange writing on it. Could that possibly uh, be the book that you guys lost? <sighs> well, Bruno? Uh, what else did you see in your dream? <sighs> four people, four students, maybe, taking this book and running away. Someone terrible was chasing after them. <gasps> what do you know of the shapeshifter? You saw him. So it was you guys in my dream. Oh. I'm gonna get dressed now. And when I get back, I want to know the whole story. Even great men can find themselves perplexed. And the great wizard Michael Scott was no exception. The connection between St. Giles Cathedral and Marnie's strange creatures was a riddle he could not unlock. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, creator of Sherlock Holmes, the greatest detective who ever lived. Any ideas, Arthur? As Sherlock Holmes himself said, when you've eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. The wee lassie knew nothing of St. Giles Cathedral. Till the boy John Roberts told her he had seen her shoebox zoo there. If they are there, why are they there? And why does some wee schoolboy seem to know when a mind such as yourself clearly doesn't? How do we know we can trust her? She's the chosen one, and I trust her. You're a witless fool, Bruno. Besides, even if we did trust her, we can't tell her everything. Well, we've got to tell her something. Chosen one or not. Okay, 
No more Mr. Nice Guy. I want the truth. I beg your pardon. I think you'll find that that belongs to me. What? That is my feather. It is not your feather. It was my mother's. That feather comes from right here. Look. Uh, so it does. Oh, very pretty, Edwin. Just the thing a girl wants to look at. Your mother is a thief. My mother is dead. What? Uh, We didn't know. You've been asleep for so long. And she was only a wee girl, uh, like yourself, when we saw her last. You knew her? Forgive Bruno. You knew <laughs> her would be an overstatement. An oversimplification. What would you call it then? That we saw her is a fact that we cannot deny. So you saw her, but you didn't know her? Well, did you talk to her? Ooh. For goodness sake, will you hurry up, Marnie? Okay, okay, I'm coming, Dad. <sighs> and until we get this sorted out, you guys are coming with me. Come on, we'll be late. I wish I didn't have to be here at all. Can you do that in America? Just decide not to go to school? Don't they have tension there? I don't get it. We're both wearing the same uniform, but you look almost cool. Almost? Hey, you look okay. Well, maybe your shoes are a wee bit naff, but they don't care about shoes unless you're wearing heels. And your skirt's way too long, but if you roll it up at the waist, it'll look much shorter. Now we really are late. Order, order. Everybody, stay calm. I'm afraid we have some bad news. According to Mrs. Mackay, there's a problem with the heating system. Regrettably, get the rest of the day off. Come on, everybody, come on. You two, out you go now, outside. I'm letting your parents know what's going on. Wow, do you always get what you wish for? school because something breaks down. It never happened before, but you wished you didn't have to go to school, and it happened. You must have special powers or something. What's really weird is that John Roberts, always coming to your rescue. Maybe he fancies you, even in that uniform. <laughs> hey, want to go down Princess Street? You know, shopping. Don't you do that in Denver, Colorado? I do have some birthday money left, but Mackay said she'd call my dad. Call him from my place. Say you're hanging out with me. My mum's at work. We can do whatever we want. <sighs> but I can't go anywhere dressed like this. I'll find you something. Come on, it'll be a laugh. Excuse me. Can I help you? Oh, thank you. I'm afraid you're not allowed in here. We have rules and regulations. You need a special collections pass. Do you have one? It's 
the cathedral. The one Mackay was showing us in class. You want to take a look? What are you now, a tourist? No, I'm just a weirdo from Denver, Colorado. Sometimes, to get what you want, you just have to trust to fate. That's if you believe in fate. But Marnie McBride wasn't the first person to come to St. Giles looking for answers. And she wouldn't be the last to find more than she bargained for. Are we looking for something? Stained glass window. Good place to find one. Fascinating old pile, isn't it? The Dean, he lets me practice here. He thinks I'm something of a child prodigy. That's why I know so much about our great cathedral and your shoebox zoo window, of course. Come with me, ladies. I have something to show you. other windows, they date from the Victorian era, but this one's centuries older. No one knows where it came from. What do you think it means? Some people say that the creatures are symbolic. The eagle, the proud protector, the bear, loyal and true. The snake, stealthy and calculating, and the wolf, the cunning provider. Others say that they're on a mission quest, if you will, searching for something. Like what? I don't know. The eagle's looking for humility. The snake needs to learn trust. The bear lacks self-confidence. And the wolf. Why the wolf? He's looking for a lost father. We always search for the things that we don't have. Fancy a guided tour, ladies. Okay. Um, you guys go ahead. I'm gonna take a closer look at the window. about my daughter. That's where I know you from. You were the one who gave my daughter those funny carved animals in the junk shop. No, no, I think you're thinking of someone else. I'm looking for a book. The Gazetteer of Scottish Religious Architecture, 1672. Gaz... That rings a bell. Now this is a very special place. Not many people get to see it. Really? Haddo's home. It's where all the heretics and the witches were kept. No one knows what evils people were capable of long, long ago. You know, the prisoners could scream for hours. No one would ever hear them. Are you not coming? I've already seen it. And I have to admit, it was too much for me. Wouldn't blame you if you were too scared. I went right inside, it goes back a ways. That's when I got really spooked. Oh, John, that's not funny! Let me out of here! Awake, awake, for I am your 
master. What? <sighs> oh, well, they've got us all right. Oh, a very fine likeness, too. Although, maybe they haven't quite done justice to my beak. My eyes are too close together. Yes, makes you look kind of creepy. But what are we doing there? That's what I want to know. Huh, funny. This book hasn't been checked out in 111 years, and now you're the second person to want it in a week. Second person? Hmm. I remember. It needs to be back on the 26th. check out a stained glass window. What? I'm your friend. That's crazy. Crazier than talking to a bunch of toy animals. You and John Roberts are both weird. You know why I'm here, mm. and you know what I want. Does the girl child know for what she seeks? And you and your foolish little friends will help her find it, won't you? Yes. And you will say nothing of our little encounter. <laughs> and what do you want, my treacherous little wolfie? Hmm? To be human again? Or not just that, surely? Power? <laughs> Revenge? Careful what you wish for.
Um, eleven hundred pieces, is it, sir? It's not the day of reckoning yet, MacTaggart. Count each piece eleven times, and your loathsome shapeshifter shall return. It's about time. I beg your pardon? It's taken you 11 centuries to finally do something for me. Be careful, my little wolf. You're playing a very dangerous game. Don't worry your maliciousness. I'll have you out here in no time. Every little piece. Two, three. <sighs> he's gone. Yeah. Well, he's not the only one. Whoever he is. <sighs> I had one friend in that stupid school, and now she thinks, too, that... We're your friends. But you keep running away, don't you? No, no, we didn't run away. We made a strategic withdrawal. From who, exactly? Oh. From Toledo. <laughs> the shapeshifter. Toledo, Juan Roberto Montaya de Toledo, to be precise. Wizard, the nemesis of Michael Scott. <laughs> nemesis, miss, nemesis, miss. Please don't tell me he has something to do with your stupid book, too. I mean, shouldn't there be clues? I mean, this is all like a game, or at least a mystery that, like, Sherlock Holmes would solve or something. The window, it should tell us something. Tantalon. Home of Michael Scott. Where we used to live. Where the book was stolen. Where the book was lost. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? <sighs> Next time on Shoebox Zoo. Ah, you must be Manny's dad. I'm John Roberts. I'm in Manny's class. The what of your intelligence? Let me go! Let me go! Toledo, the shape shifter, was right here, in your room. 